Oh, wooey. What's going on to you too? It's Fred Let me give you guys a little update on my uh, 2004 Toyota Prius. How it's been doing. What's all been going on with it. As you guys can see, everything else is still the same. And then uh, everybody's uh, favorite. Still got the uh, OBS uh, Tahoe. Also got a little surprise for you guys for the uh, Prius as well. Um, everything else is still doing pretty good. As you guys can see, my boyfriend's literally sitting in the truck right now. I finally got the uh, LT badges on it right here. Got this one. Also got my text edition logos on there. Um, there's there he is in there texting. I don't know who. My mom. Oh, and there's an update on the Tahoe. Everything else looks ranked right now. So um, update on the update on my Mega Gay Prius since everybody wanted to see an update on it. So decided to give you guys an update on it. So I'll take a picture of it for the thumbnail. Um, Still got the uh, F-350 uh, horns in there. You guys can't, well, I'm pretty sure you guys can see them through here. Let me show you guys right now. There you guys go. There's the F-350 horns. I am gonna end up sanding all this down tomorrow, all this right here, and removing the store plastic right here because it's all broken. Um, and also gonna be sanding down all this, repainting it to match the car. And then obviously I'm gonna be getting some LED pod lights, which I already have some. Uh, but other than that, I took the front plate off. I'm gonna be getting some LED headlights as well. LED uh, head headlight bulbs from Oxbeam. The rims are starting to show some, some wear and tear. Uh, one of these are falling off. Oh god, I forgot to clean them. Um, stay tuned for the front end read, like new rotors and brake pads, all that's coming very soon. Um, everything else is still clean, as you guys can see that right there. The roof and everything is still good on it. Um, Trying to find out which wheel was the paint was falling off of it but stay tuned because these wheels are going to be coming off soon and also found these stickers in the junkyard which is freaking awesome i took them off the car without problems it actually came off really well so there's one there there's one here that is actually true there's my little skull because it's spooky season obviously a wolf and that is actually true um got that sticker as well so now my car is like kind of has uh, stickers on it now so that's pretty nice i'm going to be spraying that little lip very soon black i'm going to be getting a little exhaust tip for it just a little small one nothing too big just a little small one and that looks way better now than it did before because i just got through washing it i did take the antenna off of it got another sticker on here on this side as well too my boyfriend grabbed that and then this one the wheels are starting to show some wear this is not from me this is actually from the previous owner uh, i'm gonna be painting these wheels again white Trying to figure out which one where the paint was falling off of it. This one, it's oh, here you go. The paint's falling off of it, so I'm gonna end up sanding all this down and repainting the wheel and everything. But or I might just get some newer wheels. Uh, you guys, comment down below. I forgot his name, I think it's called Wolfie's Garage. Comment down below and see what kind of what, what wheels would look nice on this car. Factory, obviously, OEM. Um, still got the wipers from the Tahoe, they're in here. Rainex wipers, obviously. Yeah, I'm keeping that on there. Got my Apple sticker and the Toyota sticker. I'm going to be getting a sticker that says, oh, woo, on here. And then still got the vent visor, as you guys can see that right there. But the big update for this car. Um, let's see what we got back here. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Oh, my God. I have a freaking donut back here. Oh, well, I guess. That's an employee of a donut, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but, oh, woo. Um, there's my underglow. I uh, finally fixed the uh, wiring to my underglow. Make sure you guys can see that right there. Everything all soldered and heat shrinked. That's pretty nice. It's actually remote operated too, so that's pretty nice. Everything is all soldered and heat shrinked. This is actually for the uh, underglow. Um, there's a freaking donut in here. I don't know why it's in here, but I guess it's my toolbox. That's my bag, junkyard bag. So I'm going to leave this back here. I don't know why, but I like it. <laughs> Um, there's my stickers right there, and then there's another one right there. I have another, I have a few, I have another sticker on the way, which is actually a pop plant. That thing is actually going to go right here in this area. That's pretty nice. Um, stay tuned for the uh, Tesla swap uh, tail light as well. I mean, their brake light. And then also, still got the vent visors on here too. Something with that one. The interior and everything's still clean, as you guys can see that right there. Floor mats are armor out and everything. Seats need to be shampooed. For some reason, I cannot get those stains out. And no, guys, those are not stains. These are actually just wear. 
um because i'm actually going to be ordering me a leather wrapped armrest that actually comes with this car it's going to have a leather wrapped armrest over the on um, leather wrapped center console armrest leather wrapped door panel all four of them for 45 bucks on ebay i can actually get the complete set i can get the armrest i can actually get the center console lid as well which is better than what's here um carpets and everything are shampooed as you guys can see that right there i need to make a formal tour on this car um this car is also going to have led fog lights so that's where that little switch is going to go right here um, everything else is still doing pretty good i uh, got everything cleaned up um finally got the radio in here the stereo is finally wired properly now it's not rigged like you know ill so this this plug this wire right here is actually for the um the mirror is already wired in but this one's not wired in um this is the power plug for the uh the 16 pin connector that's actually in here you guys don't believe me this mirror is actually already plugged and wired but i just have to disconnect it because you guys see i have a little surprise for you guys on the inside this is a Gentex auto dimming rear view mirror with OnStar airbag sensor. Like I said, when someone senses someone's ass in that seat, um, it's got a compass and temp on it. I'm gonna be upgrading it to LEDs. I'm actually gonna be taking the LEDs out of the Tahoe and putting them in here. Everything else still good, sun visors and all that. Headliner is actually still pretty nice. The back seat and all that looks good. I will. Um, in here, it's also full of shit in there. I'm so sorry. Um, gonna be putting the uh it's all dusty but other than that everything in here looks clean that's my base knob but uh other than that let's go ahead and i'm gonna show you guys what i got for the prius oh and there's my little margarita that my boyfriend found me which is awesome that stays there um but other than that yeah. the door shuts beautifully check this out you don't even have to slam it you just close it um so the Tahoe, you guys are probably going to tell me. Put that LT badge on there too. Yeah, it's been using for storage these past few days. So that's pretty sad, I guess, in my opinion. You guys can see. Oh, God, it's a bunch of shit in here. But all that stuff's going to come out soon. Like I said, I got the parts in the mail a few days ago. Got the camshaft sensor, O2 sensor, spark plugs, crankshaft and camshaft sensor, crankshaft sensor, that little guy right there. Um, I need to get all this stuff out of here. But let me show you guys what we got for the Prius for free. That's the rearview mirror that's going to be replacing that big fat ass one that's sitting right there on the windshield. This is a 2002 two line display because a lot of the Honda, uh, uh, a lot of the Toyota, Cor Toyota Corollas actually come with this style mirror, but it only has the one line display, which is I'll show you guys right now. <laughs> show you guys. Ain't that right, honey? You used to have he used to have a Toyota Corolla back then. I've had a 2008 and a 2015. And that's the one that actually comes with that style rear view mirror. Oh, here you guys. That's that's the one that actually comes with this style rear view mirror that actually has the compass in it. No uh, two line, no, no temperature, just compass. And it actually has map lights underneath it, which is awesome. This is the one that I really wanted to put on the Prius. But uh, I decided just to go ahead and just put this one on there. So my husband is going to do the opportunity of holding my phone. Hold this phone. So basically what I'm doing is I'm actually just, this one here, the mirror is not even screwed in. I just slide the mirror on there. So this is the one that I, oh, okay. This is the one that I wanted to put on the Prius, but I don't have the connector for it, but it's actually okay because this one actually has compass on it. This is actually the one that's going back on the Tahoe. Um, and this is the one that's going in the, that's the one that's actually going in the Prius. So. We're just gonna go ahead and just do it like this, plug it in. And we're just gonna do it like this, like that. See if it actually works. I'm gonna give you guys a little cold start of my Tahoe as well too. Oh, am I pointing at the cluster in the mirror? Okay, first point at the mirror. Let's see if this mirror works. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there you guys go. Um, I just have to do this real quick. Oh, you guys can't really see it, but the mirror is actually auto dim right now at the moment. But let me go ahead and point the mirror this way. There you guys go. It's got compass, temp, 
It's 93 degrees out. I don't know why it's dimming like that. It's just weird. Maybe if I do this real quick. You guys can't really see it, but it's a little bit. The mirror's dimmed, which is high. That's a good sign that the mirror actually works. But there you guys go. It's got a compass, got a temp in it. It's facing south. Yep, that's south. Compass and temp. So there you guys go. That's the mirror that's actually going to go on the Prius. So let me go ahead and give you guys a little closer of it. And, uh, there you guys go. So. <laughs> Good oil pressure. You guys can see that right there. Um, there's the mirror. That's the one that's gonna go on the Prius. There you guys go. So it's got turn it on, turn it off. It's got this weird little speck right here. I don't know what that is. But other than that, radio is gone. I'm actually gonna be taking out this uh, harness and taking out the fuse that's actually in here and using that for the mirror. But stay tuned guys, I know you guys missed this. I know I know you guys missed the OBS, but stay tuned for it. I have a lot of things coming for it. Not too much, but just a little bit. Um, for right now, it's just been my storage. Sure so you guys can see that right there, because we recently I recently moved out of my parents' house and you know it's just full of junk right now. So it's alright, you guys can see I still got the NBS seats, all that still works. Um, but other than that, that's the mirror that's gonna go on the car. I just had to make a custom harness and then wire it. So what do you think about today? Not bad for a free mirror. Pretty good. And I also got the temperature sensor, which is sitting inside the house right now. But let me go ahead and cut this mirror off and cut this truck off right now. And then uh, there you guys go. I'm just go ahead and hold the phone while I take it off. Excuse the ghetto ass truck in the background. That happens a lot here, I guess. Yeah, kids these days don't know how to drive. So I gotta put a little bit of WD-40 on the back of this and then we'll uh, put it on the press. Here you guys go. So, uh, go ahead and clean this. Get the little stains off of it. You guys go not bad for a free mirror so let's go ahead and go back to the prius and take the other one out you guys can see the factory remote actually works come on you hold the camera <clears throat> so we know so we know the mirror works so let's go ahead and put it in the car Now everybody's wondering, how can a sexy guy, how can a guy like me drive a Prius? Well, guess what, honey? What do you guys say about it, honey? It's super mega ultra gay. Because it, this right here explains it all. Because <laughs> every single furry, oh God. Every single furry is supposed to have a Prius. Oh, I didn't notice that every, some kind of furry, every furry, some of them drive a Prius, some of them drive sports cars. But personally me, I'm actually happy with this thing. There you guys go. That's the old mirror. All this stuff, all these air, yeah, I know. Too many air fresheners everybody's telling me why the hell he has so many air fresheners well a little black tree i always got to keep the black ice you know what i'm saying this one actually came with the car when i got it so that's pretty nice oh god there's stuff everywhere so we're gonna go ahead and put this mirror in storage because we really don't need it put this down here what's that mirror what's that mirror <coughs> so the only okay. thing i have to do now is probably take the harness up out of this car because I don't feel like, you know, well, it's pretty much easy. All I got to do is just connect the ground, but uh, we'll do that some other day. Not unless I have scissors inside the house. Um, no, I, honestly, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and just take the uh, harness out real quick. And this thing is actually pretty easy. All I did was this. And that's pretty much all I did. Just took the harness out. All I got to do is do this. 
and just uh, <coughs> un untape it, untape it from all this tape, and then we can just re rewire it. That's pretty much what we're gonna do. So for right now, I'm just gonna leave everything like this for right now, or I can do this real fast, quick. You know. We'll have to rewire it once we get inside the house. So all I gotta do is just cut this piece off, and we'll uh, rewire it. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. So, oops, I'm gonna be very careful with this uh, brittle plastic that's right here. This one's kind of brittle, so excuse the ugh, in the background. There you guys go. That's what in the actual mirror from the Toyota Corolla actually looks like in this car well even though this mirror is actually out of a 2000 2000 2002 one tahoe yukon suburban whatever yeah no i probably was probably gonna ask me why is there a crack in the window let's see if this thing will slide in here there it goes right there and now uh, there it is that's what it actually looks like right there that's what the mirror actually looks like in this car um but as of right now i'm gonna hang out i'm gonna leave this i'm probably gonna putting all these air fresheners underneath my seat i don't know why just like doing that I'm putting all these air fresheners underneath the seat because all the way i can smell fruity oh a whole lot fruity <laughs> just like him oh woo okay nose hey that's a gay nose. I know it's gay, but who cares? I like it. It's hot. What do you call it, gay nose? Oh, oh, my favorite. Up that. My, my freaking favorite. <laughs> Honey, it's a gay nose. I'm gonna leave my gay nose right here. Everybody's favorite gay nose. All right, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like. I'm gonna put this back here. All right, guys, go. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for updates on the mirror install. This should be pretty easy. And as always, a wooey nose.